What is up everybody? Another week of vlogging here. Monday, got up uh, early today and uh, started working on the big wheels. So I have actually, of the last two I need to finish, I have one in the oven cooking with the color on it. Colors on that second one already. These two are already done from last week as you saw. And so now we're going to uh, put some color on these lips. Those are gonna be our next things up. We'll get these ones done. Put two more put the last two in and then it's just the four rings and then we're good to go um, so I'm hoping to have this whole project finished up today we've got a whole bunch of small parts here for this week too in this bin here a bunch of small parts and we're kind of rolling through the week here all right cool so Tuesday here uh, feeling still under the weather but actually making some moves so uh, those fire truck wheels are all done, so I just need to get these skidded up, wrapped, finished wrapped up, so they're ready for pickup. I got another piece of paneling on the wall over here, so that's, I'm excited, that's looking pretty good. That'll be like a thing of like, man, that'll be cool filming in front of that. Um, let's see, anything else? A couple drop-offs, which is good, you know, a few hundred bucks worth of drop-offs today, so not a bad day. So I'm gonna get everything packed up here, finished up, and move on with the day. What's up, everybody? It is now Wednesday morning. Uh, like I said yesterday, we have completed the big set of wheels. So now we're on to a bunch of small parts. So we have a tub here, a couple of tubs here. So my main goal today, make it through this tub over here by the sandblaster. <sighs> Possibly this tub too. I don't know. We're gonna get started. We're gonna get blasting. Oh look the new puppy. Oh, pup. oh yeah, you like that, huh? Yeah, that's your spot, but dad's cleaning it right now. I don't know what you're chewing on. I should probably figure that out. Anyway, cue some b-roll and we're off to blast. <laughs> All right, so here we are, full rack. These racks aren't huge, but full rack of parts. We're ready for primer. Cue the time lapse of shooting. That's it, for Wednesday. Final parts are baking in there for the day. I'm out. Okay, so here we have a gas tank for a customer that we've had for a while and I've been kind of not doing anything with. Anyway, um, one question I get asked a lot is, can you do any sort of filler or anything? Obviously a normal filler doesn't work. So what we have is some Tiger Epo Strong filler here which I've never used it's an epoxy filler um, and basically this tank has a little bit of it's not perfect basically on both sides so basically I'm going to do this whole side I got a dip little dent right here that I'm gonna fix and I'm gonna skim coat this whole side and we're gonna see if we can get how this works what it's like I don't know that it reseals, so that's kind of a bummer. Maybe it does, because I really uh, want to use this on my own stuff too. So anyway, we're gonna bust into this here while we're waiting for those primer parts to bake, and we're gonna see how this works. So cue the time lapse of this going down. Okay, so uh, got that all spread out pretty interesting when I opened it I thought it was a lot wetter so I didn't I mixed way too much I, anyway um, but it basically is like uh, reminds me of a JB Weld so that's interesting so we'll let this dry maybe sand it out tomorrow or something I don't know how long it'll let it dry for the cans are all written in like Dutch so I have no idea in fact the only way I knew how to mix it two to one was that this can is twice as big as this can um, 
But yeah, I have absolutely zero. I don't have any idea. I don't know. Anyway, I'll let it dry till tomorrow. Then we'll try to sand it out. So, cool, awesome.